Hey guys, I'm Bria Tadikin Williams with Colville Banker Real Estate Advisors. I am here with a long overdue market update for the month of August 2024. Uh, some of you guys may have seen a copy of this going around on social media. This is what we post at the end of each month, giving a snapshot looking back at what we've seen in the market as a whole. And that essentially would include anything from the Junction City through Manhattan to the Wamego corridor. And when we look at these numbers, just as we've all seen, average sales price does continue to go up. We'll talk about that here in a second. Number of signed contracts is down from the month prior and the number of days on market, how long it's taking for properties to sell has increased from the month prior as well. So to dive into that really quickly, what we are seeing, and we've been seeing it for a um, good month or so now, is homes that are what we consider a cream puff property. They're super uh, updated, super trendy. Everything's done. You literally just move in. You live that magazine look life. Those homes are still selling very, very quickly and for a nice premium price. That's partly what is driving that average price up. We all, There's a lot of demand for those cream puffs. Those are still selling very quickly and very easily. Then we also have homes that they're solid, they're well built, um, everything's in great shape. They just may need a little bit of updating. They may still, for some, or a good chunk of people, be fairly updated, but they don't have that wow factor. Um, they don't look like there's something that's been you know, going viral on Pinterest as far as a home decor. Those are hanging out. Those are taking a lot longer to sell. That's partly what's driving up the average days on market. Um, and then we also know the homes that are priced well below market value um, that allow for some of those improvements or updates to be made. Those are also selling pretty quickly as well. They're kind of like the cream pot. So we do have this schism in the inventory type. So some properties are still selling very, very quickly. And then other properties, there's less demand for those. Um, the market as a whole right now, inventory is sitting 13% higher than it was last August of 2023. So in the past year, inventory has increased. And again, the number of signed contracts is down about 10%. And that's, again, these numbers are for the market as a whole, Junction City, Manhattan, Wamego. But when we look at Manhattan specifically, we do know that since the last month, the number of active listings and pending sales has pending sales have dropped ever so slightly. Uh, interestingly enough, days on market for both actives and pendings has also increased. Again, you know, this time of year gets really, really busy for folks. Um, we do not see as much demand. Um, we do know that in other communities, um, they've also seen days on market, you know, increase uh, Manhattan and parts of Potawatomi County, some communities over there, they're still, you know, around that 31 day on, or 31 day, 35 day on market count. Whereas I know when we go into other communities, they're starting to creep up around 55 days. So again, real estate is local, depends when the, where the home is located. We're really interested to see, because again, this has been a, you know, kind of slower season the past few weeks, but rates, Okay, guys, rates are dropping. Um, they're dropping, they're, go, they're fluctuating throughout the days, but we do know um, they're at their lowest point since they've been in, a, since April of 2023, April of last year. So rates are dropping, keep an eye on that. If you're actively in the market, if you need to lock in, talk with your lender. No one has a crystal ball, <laughs> but we do have a lot of information at our disposal that can help you guys make a really good decision about do you lock it now, do you float it, um, but rates are going down. And so that's encouraging for a lot of homeowners or home buyers, rather those payments we know have created some sticker shock uh, the past few years as rates have crept up. Lots of information, if you want to know details, price points, specific neighborhoods, specific communities, don't hesitate to holler. I have a ton of information at my disposal as well, and I am always happy to be your real estate advisor. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.